Aloha, 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 beautiful soul. Welcome at Monday Me. Today we're going to talk about freedom. Yes. Freedom. Such a magical word, isn't it? So let me ask you, when you are striving for freedom, is that in the outside world or on the inside world? when you are striving for freedom is that in a financial level is it on a work level is it in a business level is it in a personal level is it in a family level what is freedom for you on which in which aspect of life do you seek freedom the most I have learned that when I was seeking for freedom in the outside world, there were all these obstacles because the outside world does not always cooperate with our wishes, does it? So it was making things very complicated. For me, in the beginning, when I was like, trying to get my hands on what freedom was for me, I really was searching for it on a financial level. And I was like, if I have this kind of money, I will be able to do that, 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 and then that for me means freedom. And on, on my discovery journey, I started to understand that the outside freedom and the financial freedom is not specifically what is my deepest wish. And I was teaching myself to go for inner freedom. Because when you have inner freedom for everything that is going on in your life, then you will also perceive the outside world as assisting you with that freedom. And as you know, the outside world is just a reflection of the inside world and vice versa. The inside world is a reflection of the outside world. So how you perceive what is happening around you is helping you or like it is a contradiction to where you want to go. It is helping you or it's keeping you stuck. But that li li lies inside of you. There's no one in the outside world that should have the power to make you happy or unhappy. To make you feel free or restricted. So when when I went on my journey of freedom seeking, and freedom, of course, is a very big word. It's, a, it's not tangible. So, like the first assignment for you in that case is make freedom tangible for you. What is it really about? And when you know what freedom is really about for you, then you can start taking those actions or non-actions that are necessary to create that freedom. And one of those things for me that was most important to um, establish was love, self-love. Loving myself for all those things I didn't like, for all those things I did like about myself, for all those things I wanted to obtain, all those goals I wanted to achieve, all those struggles I had, all the resistance, all this, this crap going on. I needed to start loving myself for all those as aspects and 
flipping around my way of looking at them to enlarge my perception of freedom. Because freedom is already here, depending on what freedom is for you, but freedom is already here. It is already also inside of you. But as things are going on in your head, as survival mechanisms are happening, as the world seems to be against you, as there are all these situations that are taking you out of that zone, you do not perceive the freedom. But it's already there. At the moment that you start going inside and look at one, what exactly is it? that freedom is for me at this moment and at the moment that you have obtained that kind of freedom you may have new freedom wishes new freedom goals so one is like be crystal clear on what freedom is about for you and freedom is never about I want this amount of money. It is about, I want this amount of money for so that I can do X, Y, Z. And in the X, Y, Z, that's where the freedom is. Because at the moment that you do not have that kind of money, but you are really sure that in the X, Y, Z is your freedom, then you will start finding ways to do X, Y, Z without that money. That's where your freedom is. But first you have to do that inner work. You have to be crystal clear on what it is that, you, that freedom is for you. And then you start taking the actions that are necessary for obtaining that kind of freedom and one of those actions is accepting yourself loving yourself being aware of the crap that's going on and deciding that it is going to stop right here right now and when you dedicate your time every day on a specific time maybe or maybe throughout the day where you dedicate your time to become aware of what is holding you back, of, of pursuing that freedom that is so important for you, and taking the necessary actions, and one of them is self-love or self-acceptance, taking the ne necessary actions to go towards that goal of freedom then you're already there. You're already there. I can even tell you that at this moment in time, now you're already there. Because freedom is there. It's like the elephant in front of your door. It's already there. You just don't see it. Make sure you start seeing it. And take it small. Like... When you have these really massive goals of freedom, then you're making it difficult for yourself to obtain that. So take small steps. Find a way to make it small. Sending you much love. Take good care of yourself. Reach out whenever necessary. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, beautiful soul. If there's anything I want you to take from these videos, then it is the permission for you to shine your light. It's the most important thing. So go ahead, shine your light. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>